Hi, George Moore for Civic Center TV. We are here at Champs Restaurant in West Bloomfield. And why we're here is because the ceremonies for the opening of the Northwestern Highway Orchard Lake Road 14 mile triangle project. This has been a long time coming, many, many years, millions of dollars spent, and a lot of people working together to get this project finished, as you can see right here. It'll soon open completely, and motorists in the area will have a lot easier time making it through this very busy intersection. We're gonna show you the people who spoke on it today and the people involved with making this project work. I'm here just to say congratulations to the team, the Road Commission team, the MDOT team, uh, OHM that, that pulled all this together, and the communities. Thanks for uh, living through the middle of this dust and disruption. Hopefully what we leave you is uh, something you're proud of uh, for many decades to come. With the, with the roundabout and the hotel project and the new retail establishments right here are at our gateway, it just really brought new life uh, to the gateway into West Bloomfield Township. As with Detroit, as with all the major cities, you know that when you put in, a, initially it was a rail line and a streetcar line and then the roads, economic development comes with it. For every dollar we invest in road projects like this, there's an ROI of at least five dollars. So there'll be a hundred thousand cars a day that will use this whole area. That's a, that's a lot of traffic. But we believe the design is sound and it'll hold up for years to come. The Road Commission for Oakland County played an integral role in getting all parties involved to agree on the design of the roundabout. This particular element of the project began uh, in the 1990s um, when uh, a number of the partners came together and tried to figure out a way to resolve the congestion uh, at the point where Northwestern Highway uh, dead ends at Orchard Lake Road. It was a, a number of elements of the project. This is one of the biggest ones right here. Um, and so there were a number of public meetings, planning processes that went on through the uh, 90s and 2000s to get to this point today. A lot of work, a lot of input, and this is the, uh, the outcome of that. The Road Commission for Oakland County played an integral role in getting all parties involved to agree on design of the roundabout. We've worked with MDOT. You, you have to get along real good with your neighbors, Farmington Hills and West Bloomfield Township. They've all been extremely cooperative on this project. It'll be a good looking road. People will be proud to live in the area. The retailers will be proud to have a building and to do business in this area. So it's all good. New road projects like this commonly bring new business development to the area. We consider this a gateway development. We've got a new hotel. Um, this would be the uh, first hotel in West Bloomfield. It's the Hampton Inn. It's actually a quite nice Hampton Inn. It's four stories tall. Um, we expect it to be open within the next couple of months and I think they're, they're going to be doing a lot of business. The unique configuration of this roundabout is designed to make driving safer and more efficient. MDOT's Kirk Stoidel describes the safest way through. First of all, as you approach the roundabout, if you see the hawk signs where there's a pedestrian, stop, right? But after that, if uh, when you uh, come up to the roundabout, yield. If there's somebody in the roundabout, yield to somebody in the roundabout. And then when it's your gap, when you can go, when you get in the roundabout, don't stop. Continue and, and merge your way around and get off the exit, uh, you know, whichever corner you want. They're really simple. First time through, it's a little nerve-wracking, but you, uh, you, you get used to them, and I can tell you what, at the end of the day, it moves a lot of traffic really safely. Traffic flow a lot better through the Northwestern Highway, Orchard Lake Road, 14-mile triangle project. So many worked hard to get this done. Several communities, millions of dollars from not only the state, but the federal government to get this done and get it completed. So we were glad to bring you all the festivities today, the ribbon cutting and talking to the people that made all this happen. So enjoy the safe driving and we'll see you out on the roads. For Civic Center TV, I'm George Moore.